Okay, my DMX part two. In this one, I'll show you how to do scene fade and wait times, as well as how to add a step to a scene. So you'll notice the first scene here already has a whole bunch of steps to it. It's because I used the effects generator to create a tilt sinus wave. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. So once you create your effect with the effects generator, it will automatically create all these steps for you that you see right here. So, but to add a, a fade and wait time to a scene, you click on your scene, you go over to fade time, and add well, however much time that you want. You go anywhere from 99 minutes to... 0 0.04 seconds so it's a pretty uh, broad spectrum uh, for fade times we'll use two seconds and for wait times we'll use one second and I've already done so for the last scene here so if you go over to your user tab hit the first scene select play you notice that all they will fade from one scene to the next So, if you go back to the editor tab, you notice that it seems kind of long and there's not really much there, but you don't really want to create a new scene. You just want to add on something to this current scene. Simply click right here, add a new step. And you'll notice your fade and wait time will carry over from the previous step. So what we'll do here is we'll just kind of move some faders around. Uh, tilt up a little bit, uh, zoom out, or something like that. Move this back out a little bit. Gotta be careful sometimes on what you click on, otherwise it might have an effect. So, we'll zoom out, zoom back in or something, add some magenta, and a little bit of cyan to make a nice purple. This is kind of high, so we'll move that down a little bit. save that and we'll just do see you have two steps our scene number two where they, we just added the new step hit play you'll notice they will go back and forth three times because that's the loop for the scene so it'll play one and two as one loop and then so on until you get your loops that you uh, selected so now if you go to the user tab Play. Now that step is added to that scene and they'll play in sequence like that. So, you know, not that hard to do. And so that is how you add steps to your scenes and fade and wait times to your scene as well. 